Good evening and welcome to Thursday evening evening prayer with St. Mary's Episcopal Church in Dade City, Florida. We thank you for joining us this evening and we ask you to leave some kind of a reaction or comment if you're watching us tonight just to let us know that you're with us. Uh, our our uh, evening prayer is guided by the Mission St. Clair app which you can also get online at www.missionstclaire.com and just go to the evening prayer icon. If you can't want to though, you may also follow us with the Book of Common Prayer and the order of service will be available on a reminder post uh, that was sent out earlier this evening on Facebook as well to give you the order of service. For those of you that are following at home with the Book of Common Prayer, you will notice that our Psalm this evening is Psalm 105, Part 2, Psalm 105. Let us begin. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel. My heart teaches me night after night. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not fall. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we, we confess, confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Keep us in eternal life. Amen. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Please join us as we say together the Phos Hilaron, the O Gracious Light. O Gracious Light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Psalm 105 Israel came into Egypt and Jacob became a sojourner in the land of Ham. The Lord made his people exceedingly fruitful. He made them stronger than their enemies. Whose heart he turned so that they hated his people and dealt unjustly with his servants. He sent Moses his servant and Aaron whom he had chosen. They worked his signs among them and portents in the land of Ham. He sent darkness and it grew dark, but the Egyptians rebelled against his words. He turned their waters into blood and caused their fish to die. Their land was overrun by frogs in the very chambers of their kings. He spoke and there came swarms of insects and gnats within all their borders. He gave them hailstones instead of rain and flames of fire throughout their land. He blasted their vines and their fig trees and shattered every tree in their country. He spoke and the locust came and young locusts without number, which ate up all the green plants in their land and devoured the fruit of their soil. He struck down the firstborn of their land, the first fruits of all their strength. He led out his people with silver and gold in all their tribes, there was not one that stumbled. Egypt was glad of their going because they were afraid of them. He spread out a cloud for a covering and a fire to give light to the night season. They asked and quails appeared 
And he satisfied them with bread from heaven. He opened the rock and water flowed, so the river ran in the dry places. For God remembered his holy word and Abraham his servant. So he led forth his people with gladness, his chosen with shouts of joy. He gave his peoples the lands of the nations, and they took the fruit of others' toil. That they might keep his statutes and observe his laws. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father, and to, to the, the Son, Son, and, and to, to the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is, is now, now and, and will, will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Our reading this evening comes from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 6, verses 1 through 11. One Sabbath, while Jesus was going through the cornfields, his disciples plucked some heads of grain, rubbed them in their hands, and ate them. But some of the Pharisees said, Why are you doing what is not lawful on the Sabbath? Jesus answered, Have you not read what David did when he and his companions were hungry? He entered the house of God and took and ate the bread of the presence, which is not lawful for any but the priests to eat. And he gave some to his companions. Then he said to them, The Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. On another Sabbath, he entered the synagogue and taught. And there was a man there whose right hand was withered. The scribes and the Pharisees watched him to see whether he would cure on the Sabbath, so that they might find an accusation against him. Even though he knew what they were thinking, he said to the man who had the withered hand, Come and stand here. He got up and stood there. Then Jesus said to them, I ask you, is it lawful to do good or to do harm on the Sabbath, to save life or to destroy it? After looking around at all of them, he said to him, Stretch out your hand. He did so, and his hand was restored. But they were filled with fury and discussed with one another what they might do to Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please join us now as we say together the Song of Mary, the Magnificat. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please join me now as we reaffirm our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed, and we will say this together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, He rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Catholic Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us now say together the traditional version of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. We entreat you, O Lord, that your holy angel may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. We entreat you, O Lord, that there may be peace to your church and to the whole world. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of all your saints, entrusting one another in all our life to Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. O God, you declare your almighty power chiefly in showing mercy and pity. Grant us the fullness of your grace, that we, running to obtain your promises, may become partakers of your heavenly treasure. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give our angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous and all for your love's sake amen. amen this evening in the world cycle of prayer we pray for the people of switzerland in the ecumenical cycle of prayer we pray for our sisters and brothers members of the reformed mennonite O god the life of all who live the light of the faithful the strength of those who labor and the repose of the dead we thank you for the blessings of the day that is past and humbly ask for your protection through the coming night. Bring us in safety to the morning hours through him who died and rose again for us, your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Let us now pray for our own needs and those of others. Asking your prayers for all of the medical professionals and personnel who are working steadfastly to find a cure for the coronavirus and to find new therapeutics for those who have it to bring them healing. We thank you for those who have recovered from the virus and we ask for you to be with those, comfort those that are currently afflicted. Gracious God, we lift up to you all of our military personnel, National Guard, first responders, police, firefighters, and EMTs all of those who are working overtime to help keep our cities safe. Gracious God, we lift them up to your care and concern. We ask you to watch over all those in the school system, teachers, administrators, staff, and students who are learning and teaching in a new way because of this virus. Help them through it so that they are protected and um, put this virus behind us. Gracious God, I ask your prayers for St. Mary's Episcopal Church and for St. James House of Prayer. I ask your prayers for Kelly and Sue, David, Becky and Mike, Alexa and Lauren, John and David, and for Enid and Jan. I pray for Kevin, Casey and Crawford, Kate and Jessica, Bob and Dee and Andrew, Kevin and Cindy, Belle and Patty, Emma, Haley and Morgan, Kyle, Jamie and Jordan, and for Lisa. And gracious God, we lift up to you all of those on our parish prayer list, those with urgent and ongoing needs, most especially in those in urgent need, Lauren, Jack Ricardo, Emmett, Bob, Jim Burnsett and Mimi Clark, Fred Wells, Dara, Lynn, Danny Ward and family, Melvin, Ansley, we ask your prayers for Sheila, Jason, 
and Jill. We ask your continued healing for Les, for Al Teschner, for B.J. Croft, and Mark D. Gracious God, we ask your prayers for Jerry and Diane Rice, Dave and Marge Moffat, Terry and Denise McKenzie, Lee and Karen Conley, Phyllis, Steve, and Abby, Tom and Sue Serba, Leon and Betty Milton, Don and Suzanne Webb, and we ask continued healing also for Perry. Are there others? Look with others, O God, our Father, on all persons who have become ill, weak, distressed, or isolated. Provide for them homes of dignity and peace. Give them understanding helpers and the willingness to accept help and increase their faith and their assurance of your love. This we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. O God, whose fatherly care reaches to the uttermost parts of the earth, we humbly beseech you graciously to behold and bless whom we love, now absent from us. Defend them from all dangers of soul and body, and grant that both they and we, drawing near to you, may be bound together by your love and the communion of your Holy Spirit and in the fellowship of your saints, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now pray together the prayer of self-dedication. Almighty and eternal God, so draw our hearts to you, so guide our minds, so fill our imaginations, so control our wills, that we may be wholly yours, utterly dedicated unto you. Then use us, we pray as you will, and always to your glory and the welfare of your people, through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions, as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you this day and forevermore. Amen. Amen. We thank you for joining us this Thursday evening for Thursday evening prayer with St. Mary's Episcopal Church in Dade City, Florida. And we hope that you've enjoyed this prayerful time to end the day. We invite you to join us this Sunday at 9 o'clock, either in person or on Facebook Live for our principal service of worship and praise to be followed by communion from 1030 to 11. We have a special treat this Sunday because it is October 4th, 4th St. Francis Day. We will be having the blessing of the animals on the west side of our campus where our outside altar is from 11 o'clock until we've blessed all of the animals that come to be blessed. 
So we invite you to join us then at 11 o'clock for the blessing of the animals as well. We ask you to continue to take care of yourself, be gentle with yourself, be kind to yourself, and keep yourself healthy. Reach out to those you know and love, especially those that you haven't talked to in a while. Yours might be the only voice they hear today. Take care of yourselves, be careful out there, and God bless. Good night.